Hey guys, Matt Beck, freesaloneducation.com, and I'm here with tip number three on our 14 tips to becoming better at hair cutting. And this is all about cutting a straight line, which might seem easy, but um, a lot of people have trouble with this. So I wanna go through it, just the easy steps that, to take to create a straight line in hair. So we're gonna take our first section, and as I elevate that section, the key to what I want to do to cut this straight line in here is not to go in and just blunt cut the whole thing off. Now these Mizutani scissors are very sharp, so they actually do cut a straight line when you do that. But most scissors, I'm going to say 90% of scissors out there are not going to just cut a straight line. So when you've seen hair cutters, probably at a hair show, um, it, it looks like they're trying to do something fancy, but when you're just working just with the tip of the scissor and working across, you're taking many cuts through that. So that's just moving the one blade, but you can see how straight that line gets as you cut it. So it's really about not pushing the hair whatsoever. So if I try to go in here and just slice it off, I'm gonna push hair away from me. So the line's not gonna be straight. Then I have to go in and cut more and more. If I just go in with the tip, no matter where I'm at in the haircut, that's gonna create that straight line for me. The next thing I wanna talk about is point cutting. Point cutting gets a little bit uh, confusing for people, I think. What I see with a lot of hairdressers is they're gonna come in here like this and they're gonna come in and try to take the hair over top like this. What you can see is if I shift this just a little bit, let me show you what is happening with the blade. So if I'm over top like this and I come in, this blade with my thumb is attacking my fingers. Right, so that's coming right at my hand. If I point cut the way that I should point cut, which let me show you the technique first and then I'll show you the difference. The technique is you can point towards your buddy, not your body. So hold the hair up, point away from you and then point right back at you. What you're gonna do then is take that blade and you can go through and point cut the hair. So let me show you the difference. So we go from holding the hair up like this, coming in and attacking our finger with that blade as we come through, to then having our steady blade rest against our fingers. So as I come in, that steady blade cuts there, and then I don't have to worry about cutting myself. I know that that steady blade is there, and I'm not gonna cut myself. Different types of techniques for point cutting. If I wanna remove a lot of hair, I'm gonna change the angle of my cutting. So if I wanna come in here and cut an actual line in it, then I'm just gonna slightly bend the scissor over. If I wanna remove weight from the hair, then I can go more straight on. So the more I wanna remove, the better. Or the, the more I wanna remove, then the, I'll change the angle in there. But what you don't wanna do is go with your thinning scissor here and go through and thin out hair. You wanna go with point cutting because point cutting you can determine how much hair you really wanna take out of there. So we'll hold the hair up. If I wanna take out just a little bit of a line, I can do that. If I wanna take out a little bit more, I can do that. And if I wanna draw a line, I can go through and do that. So hope that tip helps you guys on cutting a straight line and point cutting. We'll move on to tip number four coming up, but make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and I'll see you next time in the next video. Thanks.